Nick Ferraro crosses his feet as he stands in the hallway of Etobicoke School of the Arts, playing his saxophone. The echoes of his notes radiate through the entire school. That's just a typical day at the Toronto Public Arts School, which was the top school this year in the Toronto region, according to the Fraser Institute. It scored an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Yes, we have some kids that are, without a doubt, lots of kids, passionate, focused, but teachers that, that constantly were in this together and, uh, you know, here's our expectation and we know you're great artists, but we want the world to know that you're, you're literate and you're good students. On the Education Quality and Accountability Office standardized math tests, Etobicoke School of the Arts scored 89%, trumping the board's average of 75% and the province's average of 77%. So they have a, a talent, for sure, but then what we have is we have staff here who basically make them work really, really hard. In order to be one of the lucky 900 students in this high school, you have to audition. The school programs nurse the love of photography, theater, visual arts, and music. This is the library over at Etobicoke School of the Arts. You can see that a lot of students have painted these doors, but it's not just about arts here, it's also about academics. So if I'm working so hard for my arts, it's almost like I feel the need to work as equally as hard for my academics. It's just about finding the balance, which is really difficult. It's just, it's possible. It's just really difficult sometimes. This is probably the most accepting environment that I've ever been in. So kids don't get turned off. They get turned on. For Toronto Sun, I'm Jenny Ewan.